most toxic thing you ever did? I definitely f my husband's uh, relatives. I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon? Why? I was dumb and young, and that's what I did when I was young and dumb. Now it's my turn! It is, you told me it was my turn. Damn, her husband got the Adam 22 treatment. I mean, and I don't want to be that guy, but is it really cheating if you married a porn star? I mean, at what point are you responsible for what you signed up for? I guess it just comes with the territory. Couldn't be me, though. Me personally, I wouldn't take this level of disrespect. The girls pop their balloons to reject the guy. Single man, reveal yourself. Hey, everyone, make some noise. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we do. Let me tell you something. Let me switch this up. I'm popping the balloon. First things first, it's called take me out. You guys need to take yourselves out of this room and go apply yourself to something in life. Because right? honestly, man don't want any girl who comes and does this on a Saturday. Go do something with your freaking life, your freaking low lives. This is what you're doing on a Saturday? Go make bread. Go get a job. Go do something with your life. Yeah, pop your balloons. It's cool, cool. Pop your balloons. But at the end of the day, what I said was true. You man are here on a Saturday begging for attention of man you don't know. Do better. No, bro, bro, you came in with your pockets empty and you're leaving with it empty. I came in with my pockets full and I'm getting paid to be here. Watch this now. Okay. Uh, why did you pop your balloon for dig a seat? It was a bit too much. Why, why did you come in with like, mm -mm. Hey, y'all, come look at this. You didn't let me here anyway. Next. Anytime I get not stood up but a, a girl flakes on me, what I'll do is I have a folder on my phone called Fire. It's basically me with a bunch of other women. And I will post that that night to show that woman that I'm with other women so she gets jealous and then she hits me up the next day because it's inherent biology. It Wait, works. Are it you works. okay? I'm fine. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh my god. Yeah, are you well? I've never heard about it. Yep. Be cold. When they start asking, are you okay, who hurt you, or calling you insecure, you know you're on the right track. No, but seriously, it just seems like it's too much work. If you ask a girl out and they say they already got plans or they're busy and they don't immediately follow up with another time and day y'all can meet, she probably just don't like you, and that's fine. L let the bitch walk. Hi. Hi. <laughs> what mother tribe you from? Uh, <laughs> my mom is Nicaraguan, my dad is Saudi Arabian and Eritrean. I knew it was something. Why you got your my lashes like that? Oh, it's, it's Christmassy. Look. It, it They're Christmassy. No. <laughs> Broke ass nigga. Man, she lying to me. I take tips. Man, I take tips like a mother. She lying to me. Man, she got me up. Like, nigga, I take tip. <laughs> Shit, I get it off the floor of the dress. <laughs> yeah, I don't mind no hoe paying me. Man, please, this sick all money. Yeah, she was talking about it. I might go get it to another hoe tonight <laughs> in the name of tipping. Yeah, you talking about it. Thank you, baby. Yeah, yeah, now nah, them eyelashes got me. Man, I don't want, man, I, I thought it was spiders or something. Man, them eyelashes got me. I couldn't really see them eyes. Man, she hiding them eyes, man. Shit, motherfucker cut them ties and, man, Man, set the trash can on fire trying to fuck that pretty motherfucker. Facts, I don't need no woman that's pretty. I need a woman with morals and character. If your hobbies is makeup and shopping, if you don't have any hobbies outside of your own vanity, you probably not the one for me. I'll take the $6. There's only three things I care about. Heartbreaking, paper making, and ass shaking. He's a 10, but he has an Android phone. What's his new rating? A three. That's a zero. That's horrible. It's a zero. Our pictures for Instagram are going to be terrible. It's green texts, and I'm doing blue. I feel like it's a downgrade. iPhone all the way. Why are you having an Android? Go get your money up. Get out of the house. If you don't have an iPhone, you're a nerd. And I'm not doing WhatsApp either. Are you broke? Like, how can you not afford an Apple? By the way, y'all, I started a Facebook page where I can post all my videos because you never know when you're going to get cut from YouTube. I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you like the content, go ahead and like the Facebook page and share some of the videos all over.
Mm -hmm. When we talk about the younger generation of women saying, well, we want men who make six figures and we want this, because they listen to all that social media. Right, right, right. But I have Mm -hmm. millennials and younger that work for me, and we had these discussions. And one of the discussions I had when they was like, well, I want a man who makes six figures. You know, they're like 25, 28 and things. And I said, okay. I said, pull up labor and statistics. I said, there are barely 18% of Americans. Now, mind you, it's like 400 million dollars, right? Mm -hmm, 18% mm -hmm. of Americans that make six figures. Yeah, that's hard to come by. 18%. That's hard. 18% <laughs> that make six figures. They was like, damn, that's it. But social media have you thinking 100% of black people make Yes, it. and consistently. <laughs> right, and, and consistently. And then yeah. I said, okay, now take out how many of them are black people. And how many exactly. are straight. And then you, yeah, no, no, you're going to, <laughs> look, you're going to 6%, barely yeah, to 6% yeah. black people. I said, yeah. now take out how many of them are 25 to 35-year-old black men. Mm-hmm, now right. you might have 0.02 yeah, of that, exactly. right? Yep, I said, yeah, exactly. so because the rest of them either my age or older and married or divorced or older. Period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I said, so now, instead of you finding someone your age that is financially respond or fiscally responsible, mm-hmm. okay, and y'all can grow together right, to the right. six figures, right. you looking for one that's going to come out the sky. Mm-hmm. That's, so that's your percentage of, of um, athletes in there, mm-hmm. and that's six figures. That's your percentage of black boy, men who went to college for certain things and starting off the jump. So you got to find one who's financially responsible, mentally responsible, spiritually responsible, and y'all grow together. Because the chance of you balling out with a six-figure dude your age, 25 to 35, is very rare. Very yeah. rare. White very women, rare. Ryan, here trying to find a bunch of them. Okay? <laughs> so I'm like, it's 18%. More, and that include old people. Yeah. More young women need to hear that, what yeah. you just said. Yeah, because, yeah. like, I think they they have an un like unrealistic unrealistic yeah, yeah. you know view of what and they put they too many unrealistic expectations to. on themselves too because they think yeah. they need to be further than they are oh, i'm like you 25 yeah and you yeah. got a degree and you work and what this this it's social, all social media, media. Make them think it's all they social media be- yes because too many people live their lives through instagram and reality tv and if you want to see reality you could just look out the window and instagram is just full of women catfishing and dudes acting rich in fact if you see a person that looks rich statistically speaking they're not rich. They're irresponsible. Bruh, why are your ears so big? Oh, okay. Okay. Well, well you're not much to look at either. <laughs> Guys, it's you literally... It's Thursday. What the fuck are you doing? Girls night. Yes! Can I come over? Yes! <laughs> Let me see your... Too far, man. Too far. Too far. I thought you were gay. Of course, someone with no top lip would say that. Yo, listen, though. What do you? What's your plans tomorrow? When you're a father that has custody of his children and you're getting child support from the mother. Excuse me, ma'am, I got these for you. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. How in the world could you possibly be assessing yourself at a seven? I said seven and a half. Yeah, how? Um, I mean, other than being fat, like... You mean the big thing? Like the the literal elephant in the room, right? As it I were. mean, but like, I date, like, people... Pe- I mean... She's pulled some hot... I, I'm dating celebrities, I mean, billionaires, real, millionaires, I'm like... I'm not the, trying to be I billionaire. Mean, Most of the dudes who are running around with fat chicks are ugly dudes. You know, I don't that know. Thing for- no, but in all honesty, I don't think she a seven either. I think she ate. Ate the whole fridge. No, nah, it's just a joke. I make fun of everybody. Black people, white people, Asians, Jews, Mexicans, spiders, snakes, everybody. There are some dudes that like bigger women. Now, I'm not saying it's a whole bunch of them, so you do want to watch the cheeseburgers, but they do exist. Let me know in the comments below if this video was a W or L and give me the HBO special. That's a help brother out special. Hit the like and the subscribe button for more content. Till next time.